What is up guys, Crusader Cat here, and today I have another coaster review for you guys. Today we will be talking about Hydras at Casino Pier, Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Wait a minute. Seaside Heights, Casino Pier? Let me check to make sure that's alright. Oh wow, that is right. Hydras at Casino Pier, Seaside Heights, New Jersey. This ride is a Gerstlar Eurofighter Custom 320 model because they needed to take out the extra helix in order to get this thing to fit on the pier, otherwise it wouldn't really fit. Um, the ride also stands 72 feet tall, goes 45 miles an hour, and boasts about two inversions, one vertical loop and one inline twist. Now that we have covered the statistics of the ride, we can now get into my personal thoughts and review of the new Hydra's roller coaster. Walking up to this ride, I was very, very, very excited to ride it because I've been basically been at this pier monthly through the cold and snow uh, documenting this thing for the past eight months since the beginning of October. Now let's talk about the ride review itself. The ride itself is actually a very smooth ride except for the cutback in my opinion because it's quickly changing it from one direction to another and I don't really like how that feels. But overall the ride's actually really good. The seats are nice and roomy and comfy and the ride also has lap bars completely eliminating the thought of Gerstlar headbanging. Um, now we get on to the el my favorite parts of the ride. That is, the first part is the drop. The drop on this thing is very fun, and it's even 10 times better in the back, because unfortunately this ride doesn't focus on air time at all. In fact, it's non-existent, except for the back on the drop. You actually get a nice pop of air, of ejector air time, on the top of the drop. And speaking of air time, there is also hang time on this ride, which is really, really fun. Now we get into the loop. The loop is does have some hang time, but it's kind of weak considering how fast the train goes through the element. But it's not as great as the inline twist. The loop is really fun because you just it's just fun to put your hands up and you're going through this really perfectly circular loop. But in my opinion, the thing that takes the cake on this ride is not only the drop, but also the inline twist. The inline twist was a very pleasant surprise this ride gave me. Because this thing gave some really good hang time, actually. I was putting my hands up expecting this thing just to be a basic inline twist. And then all of a sudden, I feel like I'm flying out of my seat. You're just twisting when turning in one direction. And you're literally coming out of your seat. It's just so much fun. That's what I always look forward to on Hydrus. So that is that. What is my opinion of the new Hydrus roller coaster for Casino Pier? For Casino Pier and what they actually got out of the ride, I would definitely give this thing a 4 out of 5. The ride isn't perfect because, again, it could be longer, and it is a little bit on the expensive side since you have to pay 10 credits to the ride, which is basically the equivalent of $1. The ride makes up for that with its ride experience. The hang time on the loop and the inline twist um, really do help boost, the, boost its points back up, and the drop is especially fun as well. It's a, it definitely is a really good fit for Casino Pier, and it is going to bring me back to the pier more, many more times this year. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Look forward to more coaster reviews coming soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.